But ladies and gentlemen, tonight wasn't about our offense. We look good offensively. That's because LeBron James was putting up numbers and so was Russell Westbrook. But nobody else was. They scored 60-something, I think 66 of our 106. That means everybody else collectively scored 40 points. But that's not, you know, that's not the, the issue of the game. The 106 points is not even an issue of the game. It's the Spurs scoring 126 or something like that. What was the score? Let me go to the box score. Sorry, they scored 138 to our 110. 138. We let the Spurs, they are 13 and 18 right now. They are in the 11, they are the 11 seed. Or 16 and 17, right in the middle of the pack, sixth place. They scored 138 on us. Let me go to their last game. Don't tell me they played a back to back. Nope, they didn't play a back to back. The last time they played was Monday. So they had a nice little break. They played Monday, and they beat the Clippers. 116 to 92. I like to look at these things to see what's going on with these teams because I never know until they play us. Game before that, they scored 128 to 126 versus the Utah Jazz. Hey, listen, (laughs) they done beat three top teams, Lakers, Clippers, And the Utah Jazz. So they've been balling as of late. They're starting to pick it up. Wish we could. Wish we could pick it up. But they scored 138 on us. In all of those games, they scored over 100 points. So they're on a roll right now. But come on. Let me go here. Indiana played tonight. They beat Houston, 118 to 106. Remember, I talked about Sabonis. Let's check out his numbers. No, Sabonis didn't play. He's hurt. Or even, I mean, shoot, Miles Turner and Karis LeVert. What y'all thinking? Huh? Russell Westbrook and DJ. And then maybe THT just to throw in something just to sweeten the deal. We get Karis LeVert and Miles Turner. Miles Turner starting center, Dwight off the bench. AD comes back. You got Miles Turner, AD, LeBron, Levert, and a shooter. Wayne Ellington and Malik Monk. We got Kendrick Nunn coming back. And then off the bench, you got Kendrick Nunn, Wayne Ellington, or Malik Monk, whichever one you want to put there. Dwight Howard, Carmelo Anthony. Austin Reeves. Who else we got? Trevor Ariza. I forgot about Trevor Ariza. Now that's starting to look more like something. Because you got some old guys, you got some young guys. I'm sure Miles Turner is young, and I'm sure I know Karis LeVert is young. So what are we talking about here? We can make a trade for that. Indiana is low in the standings. They ain't making nothing happen this year. They're 13th out of 15 teams in the East. Let's go to OKC. I didn't even mention this name, but SGA. What do y'all think about SGA trade? They just lost to the Phoenix Suns tonight, 113-101. Let's check out SGA's points. He played 38 minutes, scored 29 points. He crushed us. He was knocking down shots after timely shot after timely shot. He's a good wing, tall, lengthy wing. So let's talk about it. SGA and somebody else. You know what I mean? Okay, see, so ain't doing nothing this year. Where they at in the standings? 
OKC is 14th out of 15 teams in the West. Send Russ back to OKC. They'd love that. Returning home. You know what I mean? They get THT, DeAndre Jordan. We get SGA and somebody else. What about Sacramento? They're in 12th place right now. Are these trades starting to sound better? We had issues with Sacramento. They just lost to the Clippers. But he has started. 43 minutes, 16 points. Six rebounds, three assists, one steal, two blocks. Let's see his shooting percentage. Now, we know what Buddy Hill did against us. He was 5 for 22 from the field. He had a bad shoot night, 22.7%. He was 5 for 18 from threes, 27.8%. He's not going to have that every night. But still, five threes, five threes out of 18. Whew. And give us Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson played 23 minutes. He scored 11 points, seven rebounds, one assist, one steal. You get him back with LeBron James. Listen, that's starting to look like something. Or Holmes. Oh, please give us Holmes. No, forget Tristan Thompson. Give us Holmes. There you go, right there. Buddy Hill and Holmes for DJ, THT, and Russell Westbrook. Y'all like that? I like that. Holmes is a monster. He played 16 minutes, only scored four points. He had seven boards. I don't know what happened to him. But listen, Holmes, up, man, listen, Holmes, and there. Yeah. We need a young center. We need a young five. And Buddy Hill coming, starting with LeBron James. You got LeBron James, Buddy Hill, Trevor Ariza, AD, and Holmes. What are we talking about? And the rest of our bench. What are we talking about? You see what I'm saying? All right, and this is the last one I'm thinking. Let me see what I text my pops. Jeremy Grant. So let's go to the Pistons. When did the Pistons play? Did they play tonight? Pistons played tonight. They lost to the Miami Heat 112 to 115. I'm going to go to the box scoring Jeremy Grant. Or did I already go to the box scoring Jeremy Grant? Jeremy Grant didn't play. Is he hurt? Probably out for pro protocol. Jeremy Grant didn't play. All right, let's go to his last game. I think he is hurt. I think they did say he was hurt. Let's check him in this Knicks game. Yeah, he's been hurt. I really like Jeremy Grant. How long is he out for? He may be out a while. He's been out the last three games. But, yeah, we put THT together with Russell Westbrook and DeAndre Jordan. We get Jeremy Grant. We get Stewart. Is Stewart the one who hit, who LeBron James hit? That is Stewart. No, nah, we don't want Stewart. His crazy self. Give us Diallo, Jeremy Grant, and their backup center. Can't have nobody crazy like that on the team. <laughs> so we talking about something, right? I know y'all don't want to see Brody go. A lot of people do. But I'm liking those trades. I'm liking that. Okay? So then I went on to say, yeah, Kent Bazemore too. You get rid of him. You know, may, maybe throw him in to sweeten the deal. Not really sweeten the deal, but just, you know. Bro, they going. You should go. <laughs> you know how... I don't know if y'all got kids, but you know how you got kids and the older siblings want to go somewhere and you let your little brother just go along with you. <laughs> Come on, man. Just take him with you. He want to go. Take him outside with you. Let him play. That's what we do with Kent Bazemore. Just go, man. They going. You should go. <laughs> you and your baby dress. Just go head on. So I said Kent Bazemore just to pick up a young center. Kent, or you can package it like that. Kent Bazemore and Jordan to pick up a young five. We need somebody that can move. That's good with defense and rebounding. Somebody young. 
And my pop said, I was looking at THT too. I don't dislike his game. I just don't see him progressing to a starter. And that's true. He's one of the pieces we brought back. One of the only ones. I mean, we brought back LeBron, AD, and THT. You amongst two superstars, bro, and you're playing like this. You got to do better. You got to work on your game more. I don't know what it is. Why he hasn't gotten there. I mean, he's been getting, you know, seven, eight points. Let's look at the box score on him tonight. The box score on THT tonight. I'll give you the last three games. THT started tonight. He played 37 minutes, scored 13 points. He had four rebounds, three assists. The last game. THT started. He played 31 minutes, scored three points. He had two rebounds, one assist. He is not Avery Bradley, though. Don't y'all, don't y'all come for me. I know Avery Bradley do that sometimes, but hey, listen, he is not no Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley is in a class on his by himself, okay? And this is versus the Bulls. I think he was out on protocol. He was out on protocol. So I can't go to the last three. I give you one more. I just need one more game to see what he did just to put this in your mindset. Yeah. THT was in this game. Nope, he didn't play versus Minnesota Timberwolves either. Let's go to the Mavericks. He played in the Mavericks games, I believe. Nope, he didn't play there either. I got to go way back. Back to the Magic game. Was he in the Magic game? Yes, he was. He started in the Magic game. He played 30 minutes, scored 19 points. He had one rebound, three assists, six steals. He was seven for 14 from the field and three for six from three-point line. It was 50%. It's probably the one good game he had since he's been back. All right, I got to do one more. Versus OKC, he played 24 minutes, scored 11 points. He had three rebounds, two assists, one steal. Let's go to a game before that. Sorry, I got to give you five games. Let's go to the Grizzlies. We lost to the Grizzlies. He played. THT played 27 minutes, scored 10 points. He had two rebounds, five assists. And don't get me wrong. It's not that he's terrible. Just like my pops was saying, I don't dislike his game. I love THT's game. I've, I've said that plenty of times over and over again, and that won't change. I still probably watch him even if we trade him because I just like his game. I like to see what he comes into because I know he's greater than this, though. He's greater than 10 points. He's greater than 29 points. Listen, he can give you 29 on any given night hey, on, on another team. On a team that's losing and you put him in a starting position, listen, he's going to go off. You see what I'm saying? But he's not working with the lay. He's not working with the starting five. You know what I mean? KCP gave us that. KCP would have one good game every once in a while, maybe two good games, maybe three good games, but the rest of the season he was trash. 10, 11 points, three points, nine points, zero points, zero points. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, just because I like you and I like your game and I wa and I like how you drive to the hole and do this reverse kind of awkward layup, it just hasn't progressed into what I thought, you know, he would be. But I know he's an asset to another team. He's an asset. He's an asset to this team. So how is he going to be an asset to another team if he's not an asset for the Lakers? Well, listen, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I've seen enough of THT to know if we put him with the piece, because I really don't want to see THT go. But I know a lot of teams would be interested in THT. If we have to get rid of a Brody or if we have to get rid of another piece to throw THT in there to sweeten the deal. Because any deal with THT in it is going to be sweet. Put it that way. So, yeah, Laker Nation, let's see what that looks like. I'm excited. Because we need to make some kind of move. This team, I know we haven't seen the full roster, but this team is not going to work like this. If Listen, we got LeBron James and Russell Westbrook still playing and we lost four games because LeBron James can't do it by itself and although Brody stepped up tonight it still wasn't enough 
30 and 30. LeBron James scored 36. Russell Westbrook scored 31. And our bench flatlined. Let's go to the box score. THT. 37 minutes, scored 13 points. He started. 37 minutes, 13 points. Russell Westbrook, 35 minutes, 30 points. Sorry, he didn't have 31. He had 30. LeBron James, 34 minutes, 36 points. Wayne Ellington, 28 minutes, 7 points. Dwight Howard, 21 minutes, 4 points. Isaiah Thomas, 21 point, 21 minutes, 2 points. He's fresh from the G League. He had two great games, two not-so-great games. This is the second one. Carmelo oh, Anthony, 21, point, 21 minutes, 9 points. Carmelo Anthony ain't going nowhere. He was great. He wasn't great. He was okay. Rondo, 11 minutes, 0 points. And this Jones guy, 11 minutes, 2 points. DeAndre Jordan, 6 minutes, 5 points. And Jones, five minutes, two points. We got two Joneses, both from the G League. We are missing Trevor Ariza, Kent Bazemore, Avery Bradley, Anthony Davis, Malik Monk, Kendrick Nunn, Austin Reeves, seven players. Kent Bazemore won't get that much playing time. Let's say six, six players. Possibly three starters with Trevor Ariza, Anthony Davis, and Avery Bradley. And then three great bench players, Kendrick Nunn, Malik Monk, Austin Reeves. So we missing a lot of our pieces that we need to kind of get over that hump. When Wayne Ellington is not scoring, Malik Monk will. When Malik Monk isn't scoring, then Wayne Ellington will. When neither one of them are scoring, Avery Bradley will. You see what I'm saying? So though, these are the pieces that we need, although we haven't been they haven't been consistently, maybe individually, but we've been consistently having one person step up and be that third score on the games we've won, mostly. And that's what we need. That's Jeremy Grant, that's Sabonis, that's SGA, that's, who else did I mention? Buddy Hield. I'd like to see it. But, yeah, this was another loss. San Antonio Spurs came in and wiped the floor. 138 to 110. They've been playing great as of late. And that's telling. That's telling to know that they just beat the Utah Jazz. Where's the Utah Jazz ranked? I think they're number four. They're number three. So they just beat the three seed. They just beat the sixth seed in us. And they just beat the fifth, uh, fifth seed in the, in the Clippers. Three games in a row. Bang, bang, bang. Jazz, Clippers, us tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, I know this is late and I know I'm getting real long in this podcast. But I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention this, man. There was one person that kind of stood out tonight. They said he went 11 for 11 tonight versus the Lakers in our defense or lack thereof. And it got me to thinking, bro, who that? did you hyphenate that name <laughs> why did you hyphenate that name Bates Diop bro he was killing us out there he played 26 minutes scored 30 points a career high this is a career high for this dude he came off the bench, ladies and gentlemen, played 26 minutes and scored 30 points. He had seven rebounds, one steal. He was 11 for 11 from the field on us tonight. He did not miss a shot. He was three for three from three. That's 100%. Man, I'd trade three players for this dude. <laughs> If he can give me that almost on a every other night basis, 
I trade Russ, THT, and DeAndre Jordan for this dude right now. Bates Diop. Bro, who that? out there let me go to base d up last game see what he did because this can't be like the normal for this dude i would have heard it by now i would have heard something box score this is versus the clippers bates d up where you at bro yeah he played three minutes in this game and scored two points versus the clippers and they won this game this is really gonna make me <laughs> And it's what they say. These these teams really do jump up for the Lakers. I get it, bro. I get it. Oh, I'm sorry. I did miss a game. They lost to the uh, Sacramento Kings before they beat the Utah Jazz. Was that it? Yeah. They lost to the Sacramento Kings after beating the Utah Jazz. Let's go. San Antonio Spurs. Where are you at, Bates Diop? Did they just, oh. And the game to the Jazz, he didn't even play. Zero minutes. Let's go to the game they lost. This is crazy. Who was guarding Bates Diop? Please don't say LeBron James. Bates Diop in the game versus the Clippers. Did I just say this one? Yeah, I just said that one. Let me go to the loss. Where's the loss at, Derek? The loss. Yep, they lost to the Sacramento Kings. Bates Diop played 10 minutes, scored seven points. Hey, he was three for three on that game, too. One for one from three. Go ahead, Bates Diop. Let's see what Buddy Hill was in this game. 29 points, 39 minutes. Let's see how many threes he hit. Seven for nine. Go figure. You know what? So that's my, <laughs> so that's my trade talk, ladies and gentlemen. Bates Diop. I want him. No, I'm playing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just going to be a rough road. I said it over and over again. I'm just going to have to keep saying it if I'm going to keep doing podcasts every, every game. It's rough. It's rough, I know. Repping this right here, I know. Listen, stay strong. Things will turn around once we get some pieces back and we see our collective unit. Trust me, I know. Press the panic button. Look, I was just saying that. I just seen a tweet from one of my beautiful followers. Is it Saffron Mommy? She's speaking right now. Join Late Night Lake Show. Press the panic button. Y'all want to tune in real quick? See what they're talking about? Yeah, let me go to my notification. Let's tune in. There we go. This is Russell Westbrook's fourth team in fourth four seasons. So you mean to tell me the last three years, it's all a coaching thing, right? It's been a consistent thing for him. That makes no sense whatsoever. The, just a reminder, this is Russell Westbrook's fourth team and yes, fourth is. coach in four seasons. Yeah. And he all took those teams to the, wait, wait, wait. He took those teams to the playoffs, didn't he? He took those right teams so. to the playoffs. He had no help whatsoever. From James Harden or Bradley Beal they need each other but we're talking about the effort we're talking about the dumb shit the turnovers and things like that i don't understand what teammates have to do with you know like that point so that's number one number two you want to talk about effort things like that doc rivers consistently gets head coaching gigs anywhere he goes yet he has blown the most 3-1 leads in playoff history so that's number one that's an example you want an example i gave you an example um <clears throat> damn so guru i want to ask you this wait 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 hold on, hold on. you can't just move on like that no, I was addressing the overall point about the coaching yeah. thing like that I've been sitting on. Yeah, but, okay, so it, his, his team blow 3-1 leads, right? That's Correct. effort. That's not just coaching. But do they, not play, do, do they not play ball to get the 3-1 lead? So, yeah, that's kind of what they do after each and every Lakers game on Twitter. It's called Twitter Spaces. There's a few hosts. There's a few speakers. And a lot of listeners, and they all just talk about the game, break down their points of what they felt, and get out, hash out everything they felt over the game, and 
and a lot of it is AD and Russell Westbrook bashing <laughs> and Vogel bashing, um, which is rightfully so most nights. And uh, yeah, but Laker Nation, that is all I have. Y'all have been a beautiful crowd to listen to me speak for an hour and some change. And I have been a beautiful host. Listen, tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, subscribe to my videos. My YouTube channel is called The Film Room Podcast. And that's what you've been tuned into. And I'm out this bit.